Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today we got Nukes Top 5. Got another video for us. This is Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos That Are Nightmare Fuel. Nukes usually always gets a jump out of me. He always gets a reaction out of me. So I'm gonna keep reacting to him. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment your think down below. Let's go! Unfiltered. Twin brothers Katum and Kadis from the YouTube channel Metanoise reached out to me about a very creepy event that took place at their home in Pennsylvania. Okay. Late one night, the two brothers are making a silly video for their Snapchat. They're messing around with a funny face morphing filter when suddenly something happens that totally freaks them out. Oh, yo, I look like a YouTube guy. Yeah, yo, this video is sponsored by Metanoise, M-E-T-A-N-O-I-Z. I got my brother over here, y'all. <laughs> I wish it did both of us, though. Nah, I don't think it does. Oh. It does. Bro, you look like Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> but why I look like the weed dealer from Harold and Kumar. Oh, bro, you do. Bro, I'm not your bro, bro. <laughs> does it work on the dog? Nah, I doubt it. Tab oh, oh, it does. Yeah, y'all. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. What the f***? What the f*** was that? I don't know, bro. That shit sounded mad close, too. Like, what the f*** was that? I'm f***ing shaking, bro. Hello? <gasps> there it is again. Hello? Air conditioner. No, it was like... <gasps> As Kadem tries to filter out... What the hell? Someone just ran at them and took their asses later. Just spe- Wait, someone just spewed a clothesline or tackled his ass. Just came with a goddamn spear. <laughs> I mean, that could easily be faked. I don't know what the hell explained that, but that could easily be faked. Well, what if I more bad I thought was gonna happen was the filter was just gonna shove out of nowhere in front of them and they were gonna lose their mind. Out on their cute little dog, Tempo, they hear an odd, unexplained sound coming from the living room. Then suddenly the guys hear the loud footsteps of something charging towards them. Whatever it is knocks the camera right out of Kadem's hand and onto the floor. Now the brothers YouTube channel is dedicated to their music and podcasts. None of the videos on their page have anything to do with the paranormal. So what do you think happened here? No. Did the twins capture real paranormal activity on camera? Did little dog Temple already feel that something was off? even before the brothers did. Let me know. Um, this could be, well, they sent it directly to you. So this could easily be them looking to get some attention from like the YouTube channel, your YouTube channel. It could, that could easily be explained since you're gonna mention the channel and what they do and all that. This just for your publicity. Reaching out. Japanese paranormal investigator Kotatsu from the YouTube channel Binchu TV sets out to investigate an allegedly haunted hotel in Saga Prefecture, Japan. It is said that the owner of the hotel took her own life after financial problems forced her to close the hotel down back in 2009. The hotel has been abandoned ever since, and locals warn people to stay away, as the grounds are allegedly severely haunted by the angry and vengeful spirit of the former owner. Kotatsu is all alone as he explores what's left of the hotel. Why the hell did you go? Why do people go there alone? Don't go there places alone. You're just stupid if you do that. I'm sorry, it's just stupidity. Oh, he eventually finds the former owner's office and sits down to do a spirit box session. After not really having much luck, Kotatsu takes a short break and sits in silence as he scrolls through his phone. And this is when something happens that chills him to his core. ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音ん何の音
えっ何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何コタツー grabs the camera and investigates the area, but there's no one there. So could it be that he captured a glimpse of the owner who took her own life inside the hotel? Was she reaching out? You can watch this entire. He was trying to grab him and bring him back down with him. She was gonna bring him back to where she goes. Our investigation over on the YouTube channel, Binchu TV. Ghost Cat. Late one evening, Manuel Muro and his daughter Alexia are outside their home in Carlsbad, California, when they notice something very odd in the street right in front of their house. We got a ghost on cat. The okay. We got a cat in the middle of the street. Move, kitty. All right, shine the light on it. There's nothing there. Where is it? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, turn off. What? How do you explain that? That's so weird. <laughs> That's fucking weird looking. Oh, the car comes by. Manuel and his daughters. That's literally just a. I wouldn't even know how to explain that. There's a cat there. At night, but you can't, no one can see it. Like, you shine a light there, it's not there. What? Spot a cat sitting in a very dangerous spot right in the middle of the street. But when cars pass by, inexplicably, the cat just seems to disappear into thin air. Manuel and his daughter are freaked out by what they are seeing. So Manuel pulls out his phone and decides to record the creepy phenomena. Manuel and his daughter still have no idea what they saw to this day. Very weird. I can't even explain that one. That one's bizarre. I wonder what you guys think on that one. That one's weird to me. And just refer to the cat somewhat jokingly as, quote, ghost cat. But what do you think this is? We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Doppelganger. Pakistani paranormal investigators Chanda Ali, Asad Khan, and Sherry Khan from the YouTube channel Wokiata Official are investigating an abandoned building that locals claim is severely haunted by a sinister entity. This entity is said to take on the shape of whoever enters the building essentially becoming their doppelganger. As the three friends approach the structure, they begin to hear disturbing sounds coming from inside. In fact, the odd sounds make them a bit scared to even get closer. However, investigator Chandali finally dares to take a peek inside the building, and he sees something that chills him to his core. La, what? a dark figure can be seen looking back at Chand as he takes a peek inside. He is absolutely shocked by what he has just witnessed and has to take a moment to catch his breath. Eventually, all three investigators, Chand Ali, Sherry Khan, and Asad Khan, decide to team up and all step back inside the building once again. What happens next makes their blood run cold. Please don't tell me they see themselves. If one of them sees themselves, like sort of in there, I'm gonna lose my mind. Where are they? 
सेम यही अक्सर है could be good editing that is really good editing holy crap that is insane what the fuck wait i got back in there we are kamra manna de yaar chal jao manna pai jan andar chal jao ye manna de chal jao it's like you not go ahead be my guy i don't that I done. Go ahead. Do your thing. But I'm not going to. No. This time the investigators don't just see a dark figure, but they see perfect copies of all three of them staring back. Now, understandably, the team is seriously freaked out. And who wouldn't be? So, what would you do if you came face to face with someone who looks exactly like you? I don't know cuz if it's If I first see a dark figure and then I go back and the thing who looks like me, I'm running out of there. If I just see something that looks like me, I'm going to question if they're okay and I feel feel very bad for them. Cuz they got to look like me. Especially inside an allegedly haunted abandoned building. Let me know. You can watch this entire investigation with more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel Wokiata Official. Dashing out of the woods. Nuke's top five viewer Martin and his wife are out delivering food for DoorDash, driving through a wooded area near Chesapeake, Virginia. Suddenly, they spot something truly disturbing. Oh, what was that? I don't know. What the? <laughs> Is it not? Okay? I don't know what the was. I'm getting out of here. Not a deer. Dude, you got snow. No, I thought it was like a reflection. Okay. It was not a reflection. It was my water reflecting off of it. I don't know what the <laughs> it was. It was not a deer. No, it was in a deer. Oh, I know what a deer looks like. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, 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 that's scary. A strange figure can be seen running out of the woods at a super fast speed, and then it disappears into the darkness on the other side of the road. Now, you certainly can't blame him, but Martin doesn't want any part of this. He jams his foot down on the gas and just gets out of there, while his girlfriend kind of giggles at him a little bit. But now Martin got the best view of this figure and he says that something on two legs just jumped from the trees and ran right across the road. Martin says that whatever it was I don't know on that one. I can't see what they see. Has looked humanoid, but he has no clue what it could have been. So what do you think Martin and his wife captured on their dash cam? Let me know down in the comments. Humming from the halls. Nuke's top five viewer Max Cortez from Austin, Texas, works at Gables Republic Square Residential Complex as a concierge. The original construction was built in 1904 as a warehouse, before later being redeveloped into modern luxury apartments. The rest of the history of the building is pretty much unknown, but late one night, worker Max experiences something so terrifying that he actually calls the building security team to come check it out. Hello. 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 Bro, he's just humming. He just has the someone humming, but there's no one around. That's freaky as hell. Oh, bro. F Hello. Hello. 
Hello? Hello? Jesus Christ. Now what makes this event... That is creepy because it's just someone humming to the music that's playing, but you can't figure out who's humming. That's disturbing. Even creepier is that this unexplained humming that sounds like either a woman or a child only seems to get louder, as if something is coming closer and closer to Max. Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's like he's like nearby him humming, but you can't see who it is. That is freaky as fuck. Mm -mm. As Max turns a corner, it seems like whoever or whatever is humming is suddenly right in his face. Max said that he had security come back again to check it out, but they didn't find anyone, and the building security cameras caught nothing out of the ordinary. So did Max experience a freak paranormal event while- I'd say, I don't know how else to explain, I guess you could edit it for like, jaw, that seems off. Working the late shift? Let me know. Visitors. Now this next freaky video has been circulating the internet, but no one really seems to know the source. Some skeptical viewers even claim to have seen the video before. But if they did, it seems like no one can provide a link to prove it. So the only story that goes with this video is that it was allegedly recorded by a CCTV camera. And what happens next is unnerving. A series of strange lights move forward in the night sky before a loud flash of light seems to hit the ground like a lightning bolt. Power to the buildings and streetlights nearby seems to be temporarily disrupted. Now, since there's no source, of course the internet is conflicted. Some believe that the CCTV camera was simply recording in the right place at the right time and captured uh, aliens. And others just believe special effects. So aliens or effects or whatever. Okay, cause here's my thing. If it was effects, could you make it so the building's lights went out? I guess you could. Probably, if you're really good at special effects. I don't know much about special effects. I'm fucking sorry, I couldn't do it. So maybe someone else can help me with that, but I don't know how to explain this. I leave that up to you to decide. My Haunted Hotel. Harry, Brett, and Danny from the YouTube channel My Haunted Hotel have installed 16 live cameras in multiple rooms of what is said to be, quote, the UK's most haunted hotel. It's Ye Olde King's Head Inn in Chester, England. The inn was built way back in 1622, and it's said to be haunted by at least 13 ghostly entities. Visitors seeking a supernatural encounter travel from all over the country to spend the night in the hotel in hopes of having a spooky experience of their own. Harry, Brud, and Danny are there to monitor and support their guests in case anything happens. And all the while, the live cameras record everything. So if you're from- This looks like a fucking TV show. This looks like one of those TV shows where they bring a bunch of people in hoping to give them a paranormal experience. These three dudes shit the fuck around with them just to make get them moments and then they get shit for the TV. This is just a TV show. This is just a just show. This is nothing to do. This is not real. I can already tell it's not real. Familiar with my channel, you already know that we featured the King's Head Inn before. And these cameras have indeed recorded multiple terrifying paranormal moments. Hello. 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 Hello.
Now, since the last time that we featured them, the My Haunted Hotel team has come into possession of an allegedly haunted doll called Grace. They keep the creepy cursed doll locked inside a glass box in room 8 of the hotel, where a camera records the doll 24-7. One afternoon at 3.46 p.m., something happens that absolutely shocks the three friends. No one is in the room when the doll appears to eerily just move on its own. But that's not all that they've captured since we last featured My Haunted Hotel. Another night and Harry, Brett, and Danny gather around a table in a section of the hotel that was once a brothel with some of their guests. As they conduct a spirit box. I, this is still, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna keep a penis. I think this is so fake, you have no idea. Session hotel guest Gemma decides to ask a few. It's its own fucking tourist attraction, like what the hell? questions of one of the spirits that is believed to haunt the inn. The spirit is known as Charles, and what happens next is truly bizarre. Charles, if you're here with us, can you come and say hello? Does anyone on the table just move? Yeah, the whole table just moved yeah, a bit then, right? Yeah, I felt that. Oh, I don't no one else feeling it? Yeah. Uh, that was weird. Charles, are you moving the table? Can you do it again? What has just happened? That's just thrown itself over, but in a way we can't work out. It's literally just gone. Charles, are you moving the table? Can you do it again? Fuck! What the f is this? Cut to another night. And just for reference, the My Haunted Hotel team makes sure that the cameras are recording 24 seven, just in case something happens when no one is around. So late one night in hotel room six, they capture something that they can't explain. eerie white figure can be seen flying past the window. Now it should be noted that this window is three stories up, with nothing and no way to reach the window from the outside. Harry, Brent, and Danny have no explanation for the creepy capture. They don't know who or what this could be and believe they might have captured proof of the paranormal. You can watch all of these spooky moments and many more over on the YouTube channel, My Haunted Hotel. Sundown. Connor from the YouTube channel Exploring Undercover reached out to me about a recent camping trip he took with his friend David. The guys are in the middle of nowhere in Scotland, surrounded by very old abandoned stone cottages. The two friends record their trip as they start to set up camp for the night. After a bit of fishing and as the sun is about to set, Connor and David are lighting a campfire when they capture something absolutely chilling. She does that with all the glasses. If we can't get a fire, it's just... We just need some fire starters. Bro, 
someone and a kid. That's someone and a kid. I don't know if you have a child and a kid in there. I don't know if you have an adult and a child in there. But that, yeah, that, that's weird. An unexplained voice can be heard saying, Oh my God. But even more disturbing, two white figures can be seen walking inside one of the abandoned cottages on the hill behind them. One figure looks to be around the height of an average adult, but the second little white figure trailing behind is about the size of a small child. Yeah. Now, neither Connor or David heard or saw any of this at the time. And again, let me remind you, these stone cottages are completely abandoned. So what do you think these creepy white figures could be? Let me know. You can watch this entire video and even more clips of the spooky abandoned cottages over on the YouTube channel, Exploring Undercover. First time, last time. In this next mysterious video, a pair of very inexperienced ghost hunters decide to record their very first ghost hunt. They check out an allegedly haunted house near their home in Germany. So the guys are very nervous to enter the dark creepy building at night. And it turns out that they have very good reason to be scared. They just there was nothing one there. There was just a person there. there was, I saw that. There was a person standing there. The explorers are shocked as a pile of stack crates seem to be knocked over by an invisible force. As they run in fear, an eerie childlike voice can be heard right behind them. The two newbie ghost hunters take a moment to calm down before heading back inside to try to find a rational explanation for what they just witnessed. It did not go well. It gave you a chance. It, it, it was like, I'm giving you this time. Get the F out. A door slams shut and the two nervous friends once again just make a run for it. But they do manage to calm down and stop to take just one more look. Stop! Stop taking a look! It's giving you every indication to not show up. Why does your wear? Why are people this stupid? Every time it gives you like, it was it, I fucking threw the crates down. That was one in a circle, one more than one, one, one to get lost. You stupidly calm down and you're like, no, no, it's fine, let's go back in. Then you go in the second time, the fucking door slams shut. And you're like, no, it's fine, let's go back in. And that's when they see something absolutely terrifying. Oh, 
child. The two young ghost hunters spot the creepy figure of a little girl, seemingly. Oh, no. No. That, see, that's strike three. That was strike three. That was warning three. That's the final warning. You come back in now, you're going to die. Watching them from the darkness. And with that, they've had about enough. They run out of the house and I assume they just go screaming home. Now, I guess it goes without saying that these two friends had a very short-lived ghost hunting career. Yeah. This video is over 13 years old and it was posted to YouTube anonymously. So is it real or just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I think it's real. The only reason I think it's real is because I can't see why somebody would 13 years ago, people wouldn't do and not. You wouldn't do that for a hoax unless you plan to follow up on it, right? I think it was real. I think they posted that video like, we're never going to do another video again. This one's alone on its own. Thanks for watching and please hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Also, follow me on the socials and I'll probably answer. Or something might have gone horribly wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this reaction video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment what you think down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.